So this is another game that I was working on in game development class. This is a 2D Space Invader. So here we go, let's play it. Oh, boom. We got some fast ships in here. I have AIs that chase you. I mean, let me hit my um, thruster so I can lose these guys. So I have a thruster. I got a Killing kill. So I have three different kills. He can wrap the screen. I have thruster so he can go faster for five seconds and then for three seconds it reloads. I have ammo shields I did not code in. It's just collecting off of my rest of my. But you can see that I did make AIs. I follow you around. I actually have one AI in here. If you look up to the right of your screen right now, he'll run away from me. So, there we have it. Let's go ahead and um, look at the codes of this. This class took me a month to do, so let's go ahead and look at the, co the codes. Up on top again are all the comments, I guess, comments, credits, who you should give credit to. So here's my codes. For ammo pickup, and this is for ammo generator there's little boxes outside of the screen that generate all those enemies generate the bullets generate the hearts generate they um they're just to made to generate stuff so you'll see those several times inside here like generators so here's the animated background for the background to move two different backgrounds are on top of each other so it looks like there's two different spaces two different dimensions on there Here's another um, asteroid destroy particle system. So you destroy the asteroid, and when you destroy them, there should be a particle system, you know, like dust and stuff. And then here's another script for the camera following the player. Another script for charge enemy basic script. So your enemy that charges you chases after you. Again, I probably won't open up all of these comments, but this is so you can see that this is what I did code. All these codes are what I have written. These are none of the teachers or anyone. These are codes that I have took the time to learn how to write and code and know how to read destroy particle systems. So there you go. So when the enemy gets destroyed, here's your basic controller for your one of your enemies. So he goes up, moves at the same speed as you do. Basic enemy generator, like I said about the generators, they'll generate each time, every four seconds will generate another enemy. So here's another script. Again, there is going to be several enemy scripts because there are several different enemies inside of the game
This is just the enemy script to be able to rotate, follow you, chase you, run away from you, etc. Determines on if the AI sees the player. Again, these scripts are pretty long, but these are scripts that I have taken the time to learn how to write. So this is right here, you're calling to the player ship from this script, so you're calling from one script to another script. Let's go to our enemy generator. This one will generate our enemy, another enemy. This is our ship controller. This is how we control our ship. Well, actually, this is just the controller. This isn't actually how you make the, the ship do what you want the ship to do. This is the health pickup generator. And this is the HUD. Now the HUD is what collects your score, your hearts, your ammo, your shields, your, all that, all all the all the stuff you need to have in your HUD, your your lives, how many lives you have left, um, life icons they generate <clears throat> off of one life icon. So here's your health, you can pick them up. Instant kill pickup. So this is the bullets for instant kill. Or projectiles for instant kill. Life icon. This is the player ship controller pickup life. Ooh, that was a mouthful. Basically, this is a life pickup that you could pick up. Um, it says private ship player controller parent ship. That means you're calling that ship controller and you're calling it a parent ship now so you could reuse it as a different name somewhere else where it says parent ship mod lives one. So instead of using player ship controller, now we change it to par parent ship. So, here's another life pickup generator. Here's a missile pickup generator. Here's a ne negative pickup generator. Here's another, oh, here's the generator for the negative pickup. Here is the particle systems for my um, projectiles. Here's the pickup. Oh, that went really fast, didn't I? I'm sorry. So here's the projectiles. And I did add audio on them. I did add audio in a couple other scripts, like my Pong script back there. But I took the audio off because it was getting aggravating as I was coding and testing. Here's a ramming enemy. So this is the enemy that rams you, chases you. The F-16 that chases you through here. AI mode ramming, so it means he's running after you. You gotta have your enums, you run your enums. If you have your enum, your enum could do whatever you want it to do. You have your enums, you could have him run off the cliff, but if he could fly, then he'll just jump to fly from his enum. So, enums are really good and handy to learn. Ramming, ramming enemy generator script so this means it's a little box off the side of the game that shoots out and generates our enemy here's our shield pickup here's our shield pickup generator this is the money script this script right here runs the whole kit and caboodle this is your player ship this runs everything. You call from different scripts to get things to work for you from other scripts. So, 
again this script right here if you don't know what you're doing this script right here is the money script like that's the only way I could say it this part right here was taken out because I was in the process of learning the thruster so here's the thruster that took me of like a week to learn but here's your thruster to make him thrust I also have camera shake I didn't show you that the camera shake is on there I do have camera shake that took me a long time to code too when I said um, extra missiles or extra projectiles secondary projectiles M kill projectiles K and this is all to instantaneously make them work when the player collides with anything this is what happens spawn thruster when you want to thrust so again this script runs your whole game not everything running in your game but your player this runs your player this is your small asteroid that runs into you and this is the generator for that small asteroid this is the projectile trail script so you want um you want like a particle system with like little little dust particles falling behind it that's why I made them yellow and then here's my thruster bar this is not the code this is just the bar the little bubble that's inside there that fills up and down that's what this does right here time delta time time to time time delta time is what you want to know this script right here it basically tells you timed enemy controllers basic script so these are for your enemies for each one that comes out at a certain time again time delta time you want to learn time dot delta time means to the same time of our time in world in world time again these scripts I'm going through pretty fast you could look at them in the video these scripts are what runs the game now when you go back to the scene and we were talking about generators these little pickup generator things right here these little generators are what spawn your enemies and spawn everything to come inside your game as you can see it spawns them and you got one running away from you, you got an F-16 that chases you <laughs> Thank you for watching and that was Space Invaders.